every creator's income then goes up an average of 20% because that, that that's, that's it's a flat percentage. But on Twitch, if CPMs go up 20%, 50%, or 100%, the creator doesn't benefit at all. Okay, hello. This is going to be a super important video. I have long awaited talking about ads and how they work across YouTube, Twitch, and the digital media space. It is an extremely complex topic. And I have been nervous to make such a video and do such a talk because it is so complex that I'm not sure that I will get everything right. And I like being right, although I'm not always right. I'm frequently wrong. So I have to figure out how to explain this in a way that um, makes sense and so that people understand exactly how much it is that broadcasters and content creators and people in the influencer space can expect to make off of advertisements, particularly in the context of YouTube and Twitch. So uh, there's a lot of stuff the people that this video will appeal to that um, you're going to learn a lot about how much money people actually make which nobody ever talks about and you're going to learn a lot about how that actually works and it's going to be super complex and we're going to do it together and if only i had a resource like one of those cool infographic things i could make where you know it just leads you through the video like one of those highly produced shows but we don't have that damn it we have just me talking to a camera we're going to use notepad to explain this whole thing what else so before i get started on this hey um, 45% of you that are watching this are not subscribed, I found out. And I cover a lot of interesting topics in the gaming and digital media space, usually from a finance and business perspective. So if you subscribe, I don't ask you for anything, uh, but it helps. What, what does it help? It helps get uh, this video out to more people. And uh, I never ask you to pay for anything, but if you'd like, you can hit the like button. Uh, and that actually ups us in the YouTube algorithm, costs you nothing, and gets this video out to more people. So please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing or going to discord.gg slash Devin and the link down below, which is where we discuss many things regarding this space. Um, okay, without further ado, I'm going to try to explain how ads work, and I'm going to try to explain it in the context of specifically like what some of your maybe top favorite influencers or, or what you yourself, if you're a content creator, could make off of, uh, off of ads and how it works. So let's begin. Okay, caveat that I think I am going to get some stuff uh, wrong, maybe, uh, maybe it gets corrected in, in, the, co in the comments, but I, I literally just don't know anyone else in the industry that knows this stuff. Like, I just don't know who else could make this video. Uh, it's, 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 it's really tough. Okay, here we go. So to, to understand how advertising works, we need to really understand a concept called CPM. And, and CPM is a concept uh, which is cost per mille, which is like a, a way to say a thousand. I never really understood why it's not like CPT or whatever, and, and, and I never really got a good explanation for that because whenever I think CPM, I think like, something per million or something per mile or something but it's it's a thousand and it means the cost per a thousand somethings okay but in most cases it's the cost per 1000 views or cost per 1000 impressions and this is a really easy way to sort of just generalize over the entire industry what something costs you could say well it's five bucks for a thousand impressions it's really easy for everybody to understand so it's like you pay me five dollars i get you in front of a thousand people and usually that cost per a thousand is when you're when you're dealing with CPM, it's almost always in terms of like views or impressions or some kind of lightweight engagement. If you have like a heavier weight engagement, then you're dealing with something called CPC, which is like cost per click. A click is a a a, um, a heavier form of engagement, right? The, the user had to participate in a different way. So CPC is almost always going to cost more than CPM, right? Like if you, if the cost per a thousand clicks on something will always, in almost no circumstances will it not, cost more than the cost of a, viewing it a thousand times, okay? So when we're dealing with advertising, the wonderful world of ads. We are almost always dealing with CPM, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, okay? And for this, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna explain Twitch and YouTube. I was almost gonna include Facebook in this, but then like once I started doing the research and realizing the vastness of this explanation, this is already gonna be one of the famous Devin Nash, uh, like two bazillion hour videos where we just like very deep dive into this topic. So Twitch and YouTube will be, the context of this. Okay, YouTube ads. So the way that YouTube, actually neither of these are easy to understand, but the way that YouTube ads works is um, Google runs a service called AdWords where brands can bid on keywords. And each keyword has a value based on demand uh, and some other factors. So 
the service that Google runs for YouTube, I think is called InView or TrueView or something like that, and basically takes these bids and uh, these keywords and it assigns a value to them. And then through Google's intelligence system, uh, it attaches advertisements to channels that are relevant to your um to, to to whatever like inquiry that is so like let's say that you have a lot of like finance keywords or you want to do a finance-based campaign you can run finance-based ads on targeted channels that do finance-based content right you'll see really interestingly on one of my more prolific videos that i, that I think is around half a million views uh at the time of this uh recording is um the how legal view bots thrive on Twitch and you'll actually get a lot of like view bot ads <laughs> on that because it's people running that versus pertinent like like versus pertinent channels, right? So um CPM on YouTube is interesting because it has no theoretical limit. So the highest CPMs I've ever seen on YouTube personally is about fifty five dollars. I, I I've heard of of like seventy five, like anecdotally. I don't know if that's true. I've personally seen $55 CPMs in mobile games and toy opening category. This is such a weird category. If you've ever looked at this, just real quick aside, super interesting from a CPM standpoint, because you can, I'm going to go on like a different YouTube account so that my recommended is not poisoned by this. But if you go and you do like toy opening search in YouTube, if you ever want to go down like a dark rabbit hole on this, you'll find these videos with um, 265 million views. And it's just a pair of hands opening toys. That's it. Like, that's what it is. And you'll find, like, there's, like, so many channels like this that have just 4 million views, 1 million views, 3.3 million. It's, it's, it's a trip. 85 million views. And it's, like, people opening Disney Toy Story, uh, like, topics that, or, 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 or uh, toys, okay? 142 million views. This is a wild thing. I could go – I could make a whole separate video about this, and I should. But the short of it is that uh, the COPPA Act, which limited advertising in the United States to children – actually completely wiped out these um, these videos. And that's why you see that almost all these videos were made more than a year ago uh, because um, it's now not able to do this. But these these were collecting the top CPMs on YouTube for the longest time, something like 50 to $55 CPMs because kids would go to their parents and say, hey, um, I, want a, I want this toy that I saw in this YouTube video. And that's how they'd say it too. They'd be like, hey, I want this toy. And they'd be like, hey, give me this toy. Give me this toy. Give me this toy. The, the dad to shut them up would be like, okay. And they'd give them the stupid tractor. With, and that happens 265 million times. <laughs> And the CPM of that video is is out of this world. So they had the highest CPMs on YouTube for a long time. And nowadays it's the finance category because um, apps like Robinhood and um, M1 Finance and things like that have like a really, really, really high return for people that fund those accounts. So uh, currently the highest CPMs I see on YouTube are like 40 to $50 and they're in the finance category. And some of the finance people like Graham Stephan have shown their earnings, like, uh, which I encourage you to go check out. And they're amazing, right? Like you're looking at people that are making like $2 million a year off of ads. And we're going to explain like how that works in, the, in this video. So, uh, but that said, the average CPM, uh, this took me a while to find. So this is pretty accurate data on YouTube. Uh, so that again is the cost per 1,000 uh, views of a YouTube video, right? Is uh, 6 to $8. And that equates to about ten cents to thirty cents per view, or eighteen dollars per a thousand views. Okay, uh, but YouTube Ads uh, and Google uh, takes forty five percent of every dollar paid, so you uh, keep fifty five percent, and that's paid by advertisers. Should paid by advertisers. So you keep fifty five percent of the eighteen dollars, right? You know, so so, so you're you're ending up getting around uh, eight to nine dollars per a thousand views average right uh, assuming the uh, assuming like a, or if you six dollars then you know you're getting let's see six dollars per a thousand views so you're getting about three point something dollars so it's like three point something dollars per a thousand views you could also reverse engineer this so like let's say that a video got fifty thousand views and you earned two hundred dollars well you can reverse engineer and you find out two hundred into fifty thousand right times a thousand because a thousand views gets you four dollars Okay, then you know you're making a $4 CPM, right? So you could expect to make four times five. There's $20 off of that um, 50,000 views. Okay, so no, that's not right. You make $4 off of every, uh, this is why this is so complicated. You make four off of every thousand. So it's actually uh, $4 into 50. Well, so you make $200. Yeah, right, but it takes you back to the original number. Okay, <laughs> I missed a zero. 
Like I said, this is complicated, okay? So you made $200 off of 50,000 views. Not bad. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So that's how CPM works on YouTube. So it's assigned uh, based on demand, or get, um, basically by AdWords, and um, certain keywords are in more demand, which means that you can, if you're intelligent about this, you can target, make YouTube channels um, that have higher CPM. So for example, my CPMs hover around 15 to $20, which is very high on YouTube, way above average. And the reason for that is because I cover business stuff. The, the, that's not a mistake that I cover business stuff on YouTube. I do that because I know that CPMs are way higher on my advertising. So um, you can make full-time income off of, C off of advertising on YouTube pretty easily around the 20,000 to 50,000 um, viewer mark. Because let's take even a, a really conservative CPM that's like below average, right? And let's say, that, again, that you're getting an average of like 50,000 views per video. So you're making $200 per video, right? Well, then if you're making $200 per video and you release three videos a week, that's $600. And then times four, you're making $2,400 a month. And then that's uh, $28,000 a year. So that is like a pretty bare minimum like salary. Now you could probably, if you have 50,000 views, you could monetize that in different ways. Like that's well more than enough people, uh, more than enough people to like go into a Patreon probably supplement that income by like another 2k or so and then you double that up and like i would say that times like let's just like double the income basically you'd end up at like maybe 57 600 a year so for a content creator getting like 50,000 views at a low cpm in a category that's that's a livable wage i expect most cpms to be higher than that gaming cpms which are probably where most of you are watching this from six to seven dollars depending on category sometimes other ones are higher like minecraft because the younger audience younger pays better because kids buy more stuff so tell their parents to buy more stuff you you can send that because then 50,000 views for for seven dollars right is, is actually way way better because if you're getting paid on seven uh, per a thousand, now you're making three hundred fifty dollars per video. If you do that three times a week, you're making a thousand dollars per video. If you do that, uh, or a thousand dollars per week, if you do that times four, you're making forty two hundred. And if you do that, you're making fifty thousand a year. So you can see with just a, a small increase in CPM, it's really really great, right? It's very good. Assuming like a seven dollar CPM, which is like dead average. And then like if you get better than that, and you're making like fifteen, let's say like a fifteen dollar CPM, and your time is in that, then you're making seven hundred fifty dollars per video. Well, you times that by three and you're making twenty two hundred dollars a week and then you times that by four you're making nine thousand times that by by twelve and you're making a hundred and eight thousand and that's before any other stuff you're doing on your channel so that's the difference right so like in one tier i showed you you're you're basically barely making a living wage twenty eight thousand dollars but in the next tier at dead average you're making a pretty decent wage like fifty thousand dollars a year and then you're doing incredible if you're above average so cpm matters a lot it's like it's basically everything to youtube people and now you can imagine like just how well people are i'm using like fifty thousand view increments so for the people that have been keeping up with the math you can go look and you can see like okay like what's somebody like one of these top influencers getting a million views per video in like a seven dollar category where well, they're freaking killing it right like they're making so much money even after the 45 percent that google takes they're like an insane amount of money so um there are people making millions and millions of dollars off of ads on youtube and that's why youtube is so interesting because the culture on youtube is uh, a lot of influencers aren't like like, like on twitch a lot of influencers are like thinking about their subscribers. They're thinking about how many people are paying them monthly. They're thinking about like how much they're getting in tips. YouTubers don't generally care about that because they can make an entire living off of ads. Like if you're a decent YouTuber and you're getting 100K uh, views per video, um, you, in the aforementioned example at dead average, making uh, 350, that's 350 times two, right? So you're making 700. And then like, let's just, what, like you're making 700 per video. And that's before any kind of sponsorships or activations, or anything like that, getting 100,000 views, which you'll definitely have, right? You could like very easily expect a couple hundred thousand dollars a year out of that. No problem. It's a great, it's a, it's a great amount of money to make. And if you monetize well and, and you sell merch and do all kinds of other stuff, and Patreon stuff, it's probably a separate video I could cover just about how creators could monetize. I think most creators are monetized very badly. And, and, and uh, most people just don't think through or respect what an audience of like 50,000 people can do, right? Um, or even are interested in doing. So that's a topic for another time. But um, yeah, so this, suffice to say that YouTube's ad system is so advanced that that is usually all that creators think about. They, they, they don't, they don't, they, it's really just generally like, okay, I get a paycheck from YouTube. And, and, and in that sense, it could almost be like a job, right? Where like on YouTube, you're just getting paid by YouTube ads. And that's one of the reasons too, why that's a very vulnerable source of income if you get demonetized, which, which sucks a lot because it's such a primary source of income for YouTubers and they don't diversify that getting demonetized can be really bad. Okay, so that's generally how YouTube ads work. And, and hopefully I've kind of painted a picture of how much people can make off of YouTube ads. You always got to keep in mind that 45%. 
because Google taking that is just a flat rate and you can never change that. And that is um, a big deal. All right, now we will talk about Twitch ads. Twitch ads are, I think, one of the most misunderstood and not understood things in the entire industry. And a big reason for that is because Twitch doesn't allow creators by the NDAs and their contracts to talk about CPM. So, so I, I hate this about Twitch. It's really annoying. And even in this video, I being bound by those same contracts cannot give you Twitch's direct CPMs, although I do know them, right? So I'm going to be using um, numbers I made up uh, to demonstrate uh, CPM. I don't, well, I do know why Twitch does this. And it's, it's, it's going to be a really important thing that we talk about uh, as we get into like how Twitch ads work and like like what happens here, because uh, it's it's a very weird and I would debate shady system about how they do this. Okay, so how does um, YouTube or sorry, how does Twitch do ads? Twitch guarantees a certain amount of CPM, that amount hidden by NDA, guarantees up to a certain amount of CPM. So that number could be. $5, it could be $10, it could be $7. I am going to use the example that Twitch guarantees $4 in CPM. That would just give you a range of, of, of what they guarantee up to, okay? Uh, again, that is not the real number. I can't tell you the real number. Um, nobody can, uh, which is annoying, and, and, and I wish Twitch would fix. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going to call it $4. So Twitch guarantees up to a certain amount of CPM in contract for affiliates and partners you will make at least X amount of money. In this case, we're going to use the example $4, okay? So the amount of money, what's that up to mean? Because that's really important, right? Well, it depends on a bunch of, uh, of things. Uh, it depends on, and this is where we start getting really complicated. The first thing it depends on is something called fill rates. Fill rates is how many ads do we have to sell, right? We twitch. Because if you don't have enough ads, then ads don't get displayed and you make nothing. Streamers have no idea what fill rates are. Fill rates typically get filled first by top level partners, meaning they will get ads before the vast majority of people watching this video that are creators will, uh, which is people that are um, affiliates or, 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 or uh, partners or whatever. Fill rates uh, are, have been a problem historically in the past because if Twitch can't sell enough ads, because remember, very importantly, Twitch does not have a automated system of ads. If you are a brand and you want to advertise on Twitch, you cannot do it automatically. That is not the case with Google. Big, big thing here. Um, you have to go through a sales process to do it, and it's annoying to, to do so. So Twitch has a, a very limited ad inventory compared to YouTube, not just because of the, the size of the website, but also just because of this problem of, of, of manual ads. So, uh, Okay, so, so fill rates are a big thing. Uh, do we have enough ads to sell? Oftentimes we don't, so sometimes ads will just not appear on your channel. You won't get paid. Another big thing is going to be ad block rates. So how many people ad block? Well, an estimated about a 45% uh, of people ad block. So right there, that cuts your rate in half about the same as it does on YouTube, right? So, so YouTube uh, ads, a lot, um, there's a lot more mobile users uh, on, on YouTube right now, so uh, ad block is less of a problem but still a problem on YouTube, but more so on Twitch um, because ads are more annoying on Twitch, typically with like pre-rolls and stuff like that we'll get into. And then the uh, third one that's really important is region or what Twitch would call a territory. Uh, I have another video about territories and how they work, but I don't remember which one it was. Um, but in, in short, there's three types of territories, group A, B, and C. A being the highest value territories like United States and London, UK, et cetera, people that have the most spending money, Germany. Uh, B being countries right below that, so Spain, Poland, things like that. And C being like uh, territories that don't really have a lot of spending capital or are otherwise third world. So group A, B, and C territories. If you have audience, this is really important because if you have an audience that is mostly in a B or C territory, um, you will get way less CPM, like like cents on the dollar compared to like what somebody that has a predominantly United States audience, might, uh, which might hit the max CPM. Uh, another time, another thing that's relevant to this is date and time. So um, a good question is like, is it December, right? December is the best time for ads to be displayed because it's Christmas, it's holidays, people are spending a lot of money. January to, to, to Feb to April are typically the worst, right? Uh, where CPMs will be a lot less, and even top creators on Twitch will not make the kind of money that they made just months before. YouTubers also have had this problem, and it got to the point where people were planning to make as many videos in like October, December, November, December as possible, and then taking breaks on like January, February because the ad CPM was so low. 
but YouTube, as of 2021 and 2020, increased its um, its ad revenue by 87%, I think is a number that Fwiz gave, uh, head, of, head of YouTube Gaming. I, I might have that slightly off, but it's on his Twitter somewhere. So it's actually become less of a problem over the course of the last two years for YouTubers, and, and a lot of YouTubers have reported that their income stays consistent, uh, which is amazing, actually, like that they've been able to sell that many ads. It's really a testament to YouTube's ads platform. So how do, YouTube, how do Twitch ads work? Well, Twitch ads are displayed in 30-second intervals, mostly. There are some weird exceptions to this, like there's banner ads below streams now and, and, and things like that. And broadcasters are forced a pre-roll, uh, although you can optionally disable this if you run your own ads every hour, or broadcasters can manually run ads on 30-second intervals up to a certain amount. I don't think it's maybe 120 seconds, 190 seconds uh, every 30 minutes or an hour. Now, keep in mind that just because you can run that many ads doesn't mean those ads get filled or that they don't have a, they have problems that apply to uh, these uh, these issues. Okay, so so here's the cool thing about Twitch ads, right? Every 30 second ad or 15 to 30 second ad from Twitch is a separate ad, meaning that CPM applies again to that ad. On YouTube, just because you put eight to 10 ads in your video doesn't mean that eight to 10 ads will be displayed. It's based on a lot of factors and it's also based on the viewing habits of the individuals because YouTube's system is so sophisticated, it can think, okay, if I display another ad to this guy, he's going to click off this video and I don't want that because I want people to spend more time on the website. So YouTube might just not serve you an ad because you've seen enough of them, right? And, and, and so for Twitch, um, you see the ads that the broadcaster presents you unless the fill rate is low enough that it can't fill that ad for you at the time. Fill rates are kind of complicated too because it depends on like the budget they have to run that ad, right? Because that, that's the budget that ultimately gets assigned by the brand to, the, to Twitch. So these are really complicated subjects, I know, but we're, we're going through a very general view of this. Okay, so uh, that means that if a streamer runs three ads to 1,000 viewers and the CPM is $4, that's pretty cool, right? Because that's four times three equals 12. And in theory, because Twitch is not taking a cut of that, they are promising a, a CPM up to a certain rate at a true $4 CPM at $12, then the streamer makes... $12 per three ads on a thousand viewers, that's um, pretty good, right? Because you can run that every hour. And then all of a sudden you're making an additional uh, $24 an hour, which for a six hour stream would be 144 bucks, not bad. But you have to keep in mind that a, a large percentage of people ad block, which knocked it off the category. And that's assuming, uh, assuming a pretty high CPM. So, so this seems like a good deal, right? What if you run six ads, you increase that, that rate. So, or, or, or what if you have 5,000 viewers, right? Well, if you have 5,000 viewers at a $4 CPM, then you show an ad and 5,000 people see it. Well, that's uh, 1,000, uh, that's $4 times five, right? Which is $20. But you, you stack that on top of, let's see, say six additional ads in that ad break. And now all of a sudden you've made $120, right? For an ad break, pretty good, right? And let's say you run one of those on the hour every hour, okay? And you stream for an average of six hours. You've now made $720 before ad block. And that's a pretty good rate per day. Okay, so then if you run a stream like five times a week, you're making thirty six hundred dollars and uh, a week, and then you're making that times four every month. That's fourteen thousand dollars a month, and that's one hundred and seventy two thousand dollars a year off of ads before ad block. But let's just say that ad block takes away thirty five percent of that. Five thousand viewer streamer running ads every hour on the hour is taking home about one hundred and twelve thousand uh, dollars, assuming four dollars CPM, uh, which is which is a pretty good assumption. So that would give you an idea of what a 5,000 viewer streamer is making. So now we can kind of look at someone that's like a 10,000 viewer streamer and we can look at like a $4 CPM, right? And we can do the same exercise. We can look at that. We can say, okay, um, they're, they're making, they're making $4, let's say, let's, holy, okay, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a whole thing. So they're making $4 10 times, right? Because it's, it's, it's 10 instances of, uh, so that's $40. Um, they're running that six times, which is $240, right? And that's giving them, um, so that's, this is basically just double all the other numbers, right? <laughs> so, so it's 240. Let's assume they're running like six ads. So they're running 1440 per ad break. Okay. 
and then uh, they're running those every hour on the hour for a six hour stream. So that's eight thousand um, six hundred and forty dollars. Okay, pretty good for a day. They're running five streams a week, and they're running that by four. It's one hundred and seventy two thousand a month. Uh, so then we have to like subtract. I'd say the ad block there, and you're doing one hundred and twelve thousand. We're back to that number per month, which would then equate to about a million per year, right? So pretty good for a 10,000 viewer streamer for ads. Keeping in mind, there's like very, very few uh, broadcasters in that tier. Okay, so this seems pretty sweet because you can see that the difference between Twitch ads and YouTube ads is the multiple ads that are running. So um, why am I so excited about YouTube ads and always talking about YouTube as a means to make more money than Twitch? Because this is even considering before... Uh, now keep in mind, like a lot of broadcasters don't run ads like on the hour. And this is also not going to be, this number is going to be severely reduced, right? Because you have to consider not every ad is going to be filled because that's assuming all six ads are filled every single time. Number one, it's also assuming that every single person is in the top CPM category uh, or territory. And that's not the case. Like even US broadcasters have like 30% plus of their audience in BNCK territories. And uh, then number three, it's assuming that that streamer runs those ads on the clock five times a week, six hours on the hour every time. So this is like probably the maximum possible amount that you could earn off of ads, but it, it just it, it's it's going to be far less than that, right? Like by 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 half of of a, of a factor because because we haven't even put an ad block there, which is going to be uh, which was going to cut or thirty five percent estimated or more off the bat right there. But you could call it like. Saying that a broadcaster at the end of the day is making sixty to seventy thousand dollars a month off of ads that are, that's running it at this cadence off of ten thousand viewer stream is not unreasonable. Uh, good amount of money, and that's before subs, and that's also before any kind of sponsorships or anything like that. Pretty good. Okay, so you can see here like some takeaways that the benefit of Twitch ads is that you can run a bunch of them at once, and as long as they're filled, you get paid. CPM on each one. Whereas on YouTube, an ad gets run every once in a while and you get paid CPM on that ad only. Okay, so um, it seems to me that Twitch's ad system, uh, or it might seem to you that Twitch's ad system is better uh, given that you can run a bunch of them. But that is not the case because um, I'm going to tell you why. And uh, the people that have been following this very closely, which by now is probably four of you, because I think this is like the most technical video that um, I, I, I've made in a while. So if you are still following after this time, leave, it, leave a, <laughs> a comment down below and let me know. Okay, because you, uh, if you have figured out how the system works uh, or, or you already know how the system works, you will know that YouTube is a vastly superior system. So... Twitch guaranteeing up to an amount means there is always a cap on what broadcasters can make. Because let's say that Twitch guarantees that $4, okay? What if they sold the ad for $50? <laughs> right? Because they're going to be selling the C they're going to be selling the CPM on their side for way more. Well, it might look bad that YouTube takes 45% flat of any CPM, but Twitch can take a way higher margin, right? Because they aren't telling us what they sell the ad for. So if they sell it for even $10, right, then they're taking 60% cut because they collect the six and they give you the four, right? If And you can see that they, they, this is an infinite scale. They sell it for $20, $30, $50, $100 dollars CPM, right? The, um, the, the guarantee system to me is the biggest meme. And nobody, I, don't, I think there are so few broadcasters that understand the system and understand how this works um, because broadcasters should be fighting for Twitch to take a flat percentage of the ads on their contract. They should not be allowing Twitch to do this guarantee system because on YouTube, sure, YouTube takes 45%, but if they, remember how we had that talk on YouTube back up here where the difference between a $4 CPM at a $7 CPM and a uh, $15 CPM 
was insane, right? It's literally the difference between a living wage and uh, like a barely living wage and a, and, and a lot of money per year, like $100,000 per year. Well, now what's happening if you are in a category where you're getting paid like $20 CPM on YouTube? Well, you're getting a ton of money per, vi per view, right? And, 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 uh, and YouTube isn't limiting that. Whereas on Twitch, the, they are. They're guaranteeing that $4. Or, again, this is an arbitrary number, whatever the number is. Um, and, 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 and now you see it's no coincidence that Twitch NDAs all of their contracts, is it? Because they don't want you to know what number that is that they guarantee. Because very smart people can work it back and, and, and uh, do the math and see that broadcasters and influencers are getting screwed by this. Because they, they, um, they're, they do not know what Twitch is selling those ads for um even we as as one of the top agencies working with twitch do, do not understand what twitch sells those ads for it's only an internal data that they guard very closely no surprise okay mm. but there is another factor that makes youtube ads very valuable you see a twitch ad can only be run at time of running <laughs> i don't know how to explain that <laughs> like uh, the fourth it can be only run in the current present fourth dimension like as we are now because it's by nature a live ad now there at there are ads as of the time of this recording on vods they don't make a meaningful amount of money one because a lot of people don't watch vods and two because there just isn't as sophisticated of a system to run ads on vods so almost all of the money that you make off of twitch ads is going to be made in real time now that can be an impressive amount depending on these amounts above but keep in mind that, like, I just want to make this really clear. When I use this example of 1,000 viewers, we're already talking about maybe 2,000 people total on Twitch. So as of last month, there were 9.5 million, 9.5 million broadcasters who clicked the Start Streaming button on Twitch. But there were only about 2,000 of those broadcasters who got 1,000 viewers or more. The number of uh, at 5,000 viewers puts you in the top 500 easily, and 10,000 viewers in the top uh, 50 to 100, uh, no problem right there. So we are only really talking about 2,000 people on this website to give you an idea of how astronomically unlikely it is that people are going to be making this kind of money off of, off of Twitch. It's almost impossible. Uh, the vast majority of people are going to be getting a couple of dollars uh, as affiliates or partners, and many of you will not even hit the $100 payment threshold that, you t uh, that, that Twitch has uh, to pay you out those ads in the first place. So Twitch might collect $57 from your streaming career total and then just keep it because they don't have to pay you out unless uh, they make $100. But on YouTube, it is much, much more realistic for people to make full-time income off of ads. There are way, way more creators in the 20,000 to 50,000 view category. Uh, uncountable amounts, the, the, tens of thousands uh, compared to how many there are on Twitch. The scale is just vastly superior. So the, I just want to put it in your head that the likelihood that you will be making or, you, or someone you know will be making 10,000 uh, viewer streamer CPM numbers is just astronomically unlikely and they can only do it in the context of a live ad they can only run it at that time the cpm gets caught uh, and then there's a little bit that comes from VODs, but not that much but youtube and this is the real power of youtube every single video you make lives on in search forever and adds to the total ad amount you make per views so if you get a video if you make a new video and your new video gets ten thousand views okay um, and you had a $4 CPM and you made $40, right? That, that's, that's cool. But what actually happened is you made 10,000 views plus every view that you got that day from former videos. And what you'll find as you become a more sophisticated YouTuber is that many of your videos will overperform later. So I have a really interesting video that I brought up before. It's called How Legal View Bots Thrive on Twitch. And it's this one right here. So... This video is a video that's just about how viewbotting works on Twitch and like how many people viewbot. This video for eight months was at uh, about nine, eight to nine thousand views, and then it just sat there for eight months at eight to nine thousand views. That was it, okay. And then all of a sudden, um, I think someone like Lyric had an accidental viewbotting thing happen on Reddit where like one of his streams was embedded in Reddit and he got this crazy amount of viewers, like 50,000 viewers, and everybody was talking about it. All of a sudden, this video got really popular and it gained 100,000 views in two months. So as of the time of this video today, this video has make it, made me individually over $2,000. And none of that was in its first eight months of creation. All of it came later. So over the course of the two-year existence of this video, I, I, I filmed this video once, 10 minutes, just like a weird, awkward video about me talking about ViewBots. It's not even a good video by the, by, by the standards that I hold myself to 
these days. Video made me two thousand dollars. All that basically passive after I created that, and that is the real advantage of YouTube ads is that you can make a video, it then lives and exists. Maybe this ad video initially uptakes. I don't know, 10 to 30,000 people. This is a really technical video, so I don't think it'll do very well. I I'm going to make a super quick bait title, though. Don't worry. It's going to be like how much money exactly streamers make off of ads. True. From agency level CEO. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clickbait this so hard. Oh, my God. But uh, uh, even with my clickbait, uh, this highly technical video will um, remove a lot of people from the pool of people interested in it. So, uh, you know, maybe this does initially like, 20 to 30,000 views, but then later on becomes like super popular, gets like two or 300,000, the amount of money accumulates and that's per view. So using the aforementioned example where we had a person do three videos a week, that's three videos a week. Well, after, after 52 weeks, like after a year, right, of doing those, that's 156 videos. And after, uh, after three years of doing that, that's 468 videos. So you can see how like with 500 videos, every single one of them accumulating new views every single day, you can start making a lot of money off of ads. And that's why YouTube is so compelling. It's because Twitch, the, and this is so much of my problem with the live streaming medium and kind of why I'm moving away from it um, personally is because live streaming happens in the moment. And if you can't capture your audience in that moment, you can't really monetize it. Whereas with YouTube, the VOD exists for as long as that topic is interesting. And if you're making evergreen content, which anybody on, on YouTube should be thinking about doing, then it starts to become very valuable over time as you, as you make those, um, as those videos accumulate and as, as, as your brand accumulates. YouTube feels much more like you're building a brand uh, and every video contributes to that. I love that feeling that like every video that I make, I know that it is not going to end there. It's going to be a video that stand that, that hopefully stands the test of time and at least picks up, you know, over the next six months, a few thousand views or something. And, and, and that gives me a feeling that I, I'm, I'm more building a brand than on Twitch, which feels like the minute that I click the stop streaming button, I am, I am, I'm now gone. I, I just am not there anymore. You go to a blank page, nothing really lives there, nothing's really happening. And so for those moments, you get that interactivity with that community, but then afterwards, it's just gone. And, and, and Twitch still duplicates that interactivity in a way that I haven't seen anybody else do, but like YouTube gives you that feeling of building that consistent brand. Every video feels like you're adding to something. So that's, that's the real benefit of YouTube and its ad system. So I, I, I wish more people understood this sort of like guarantee system by Twitch, because it means that as, unless Twitch changes this, and this is currently their uh, modus operandi for every affiliate and partner contract. As CPMs, we, we can expect CPMs in the advertising space to increase over time. So year over year, CPMs get more valuable across the digital media space, both on YouTube and on Twitch. So YouTube getting more valuable means that every creator, because YouTube takes a flat percentage at 45%, every creator on YouTube, as CPMs get, um, grow in value and the space becomes more sophisticated, every YouTube creator by proxy makes more money, right? Rising tide lifts all boats because the more sophisticated the market gets and the more that brands want to spend, which we can see uh, through digital media, marketing expenses in the digital media space are increasing every year and have been increasing year over year. Traditional media is going wayside. People are spending less on TV. People are spending more on YouTube ads, on Twitch ads, on activations in the YouTube and Twitch space. The CPM and the value of these things should go up. There was a time when Twitch, uh, like the most valuable ad you could buy was a Super Bowl ad. It's still incredibly valuable. But now there are competing ads that, can, that you can potentially pay a, a very high CPM rate for in the in the youtube space or in, in like the example of twitch there are these creative shows being done like the austin show or miss kiff show at school or something like that that school that uh that have quite high cpms because of their level of engagement and viewership and and those could be i, I think we're getting to the point where in a few years or maybe sooner because everything moves really fast we may hit a point where those cpms are actually competitive with tv and, and like prime time spots like jimmy kimmel etc things like that pretty cool right so Okay, so a rising tide lifts all boats in the case of YouTube where those CPMs, um, as they go up to $50, $60 or higher, benefit creators. And maybe like, it, like, let's say that CPMs across YouTube go up an average of 20%. Every creator's income then goes up an average of 20% because that, that, that's, that's, it's a flat percentage. But on Twitch, if CPMs go up 20%, 50% or 100%, the creator doesn't benefit at all because there's a cap. So it doesn't matter. 
And that's a huge thing we should be talking more about because it means that creators don't get uplifted with um, how if Twitch becomes more successful. If Twitch sells an ad for $100 or they sell an ad for $50, you don't care if they guarantee you a CPM of $2, right? So this cap system prevents creators from ever making seriously meaningful careers off of Twitch. Even top creators and the viewership that they're, that they're, they're getting, which is... 30,000 or 50,000 viewers um, should be making way more money off of ads, but they don't because Twitch guarantees them a very low rate relative to what they're selling those ads for. This is really important to understand. There's nothing we can do about it, but it's cool to know that um, th this is one of the very big limiting factors of Twitch that I don't expect them to change because it is absolutely their highest profit margin, right? Um, they're, 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 you can expect that Twitch is regularly making 60% um, plus margins off of their ads and, and and in some cases 80 to 90 percent uh often in terms of small creators that they can guarantee lower cpms to and that they're also doing this by category so it's 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 pretty crazy right uh and more people need to talk about it i mean if you really understand it it means that twitch has a ceiling on the amount that you can make off of advertising and youtube doesn't um and so while youtube seems very predatory in the taking of the 45 percent of ads they are not taking from the flat rate and you know what they're selling. Like anybody can go into AdWords system and they can see what the keywords are. And you can, with a little bit of work, we can figure out like what the finance keywords are going for. Uh, and, and, we, and we can apply that to video. But you can't do that on Twitch. You have no idea what a channel is going for. You have no idea what they're selling those ads for. Nobody does, right? Only Twitch's like, internal sales team knows that. And worse, they don't even let people like me talk about this because they gate the amount of flat CPM they're guaranteeing per contract um, behind an NDA then no creator can talk about it. Uh, creators can talk about how many subscribers they have, and I think to some extent they can talk about their subscriber split percentage, but uh, which for the vast majority of people is 50%, and then some of the top creators have 70, 30, on what's called premium accounts. But uh, Twitch, I have a good video on this called Twitch is a Pimp, which basically shows how Twitch takes a higher percentage of everything uh, at the end of the day. Um, and I talked a little bit about ads there, but I wasn't able to expand on it to the degree that uh, I could hear because it took almost an hour to explain this, <laughs> right? Uh, this, is, this is a very, very complex subject. So, mm. but there you go. So that's ads. Um, the, the, the lesson here is that if you're starting off as a content creator, um, you would be wise to start on something like YouTube where it is just far more statistically realistic to do a ad, to, to make money off of ads and get your videos to like the ten to twenty thousand range, or even the twenty fifty thousand dollar range, which should be achievable for most like dedicated creators that really choose to take the time to learn the system. And um, versus on Twitch, your likelihood of being like, let's just do the math real quick, right? So if we take a number like two thousand, which is really generous, it's actually closer to about a thousand. Let's say two thousand people have more than a thousand viewers concurrent on Twitch. And then we take the, the number of broadcasters that were on the website last month that clicked the start stream button and ran a stream. The number you get from that is 0.02105%. So, so that's roughly the chance that you have of, like, I want to talk, I want to do a little bit of an inspirational thing here <laughs> because that, that seems like a very daunting number. And it is. Um... In my experience, the vast majority of people do not try. And, and, and so this doesn't account for half-assed people that click the start streaming button, don't know what's going on, gave up and never streamed again. This doesn't count for people that are like um, not taking any time to learn. Like chances are that if you're watching a video like this, you and you're a content creator, you are probably well beyond this percentage. And and, and so one of the examples I like to use is like. Let's say that you have a 1% chance to capture uh, something in a game, right? Well, if you, it's not really a 1% chance if you continuously try, learn, and get better, right? Even if it was a 1% chance to um, do that, if you do it 100 or 1,000 times, like you, you will get that item, right? Or 100,000 times, however many times it takes. And, and, and so the lesson here is that like, even if it's a very daunting percentage, I, I don't want to turn people off from potentially trying for it because um, there, if you really apply yourself and learn, you will quickly beat those percentages. I was always told as an entrepreneur that um, I, I couldn't make a business because you always hear that stat, like 90% of businesses fail. Well, 0% of my businesses have failed and I've run four so far. 
right? And they've all done well. And the reason for that, I think, is because I've been more dedicated. I've, I, I've chosen to learn more. I've chosen to work harder. And I don't leave that up to chance. I know the stats, and I know I'm 99% likely to fail, but I've succeeded five times in a row. If I was really 99% likely to fail by the pure statistics of it, right? Because 99% of businesses fail. And then I succeeded five times. Well, Jesus, am I the emperor of mankind? Like, what's going on? No, it's just because I took the time to learn. I took the time to apply myself. I took the time to go to mentors. I, did, I, I, I moved in the right directions. I worked hard, right? So just keep in mind that whatever you do in life, don't let somebody like me give you like a daunting percentage like that and then turn you off to the whole idea. Because the reality is that if you really apply yourself, then you, um, uh, you will succeed at a far better and more consistent rate. Now, that said, you should also be realistic and realize that like um, every single Twitch broadcaster should have a YouTube strategy just because the pure data behind it shows that it's much more realistic to make income off of that, especially if you're starting. So when you're, if you're pursuing a live streaming career, you should keep this in mind, right? And granted that like in a live streaming career, this is, it, it's not the only way to make money off of ads, but uh, it should be a very compelling thing that uh, only one to 2,000 people have succeeded in live streaming in any meaningful way. Uh, uh, per month, right? Um, it's, it's a different. It's not. It's a higher number than that. Like it's it's something like twenty or thirty thousand people total. But like uh, it's like that's just the the month rotation, or maybe a hundred thousand or something like that. Very low number compared to the hundreds of millions that try to stream. Okay. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is that it's much easier to make money off of YouTube ads, and by extension, have a career on YouTube than Twitch, and the total amount over time is higher but that there are some benefits to live broadcasting ads on Twitch, and I think we've explained them there before. So that's how Twitch and YouTube ads work. Uh, that took almost an hour to explain and was literally as difficult as I thought it was going to be. That was really hard. So thanks for bearing with me through that. And now you know, hopefully, how YouTube ads and Twitch ads work. And you know the value, and you can actually exactly price out how much, exactly how much money streamers are making off of ads. Uh, so I've done what the clickbait title promised, and uh, you can also find out what YouTube people are making as well. So I'm going to give you another reminder to toss a subscription. You you owe me it if you sit here for 40 minutes and listen to this video uh, to give me a subscription. Uh, give me that subscription. It's free. Costs you nothing. Come back and watch some of our videos that we do on um, digital media marketing and business and finance and things like that. Be a lot of fun to have you back. And and do join the Discord if you um, have watched like more than one video and you're interested. We have a lot of um, channels where I talk every day going on about um, stuff in the, in the business finance and marketing world and things like that. So thanks for joining me for this video. Um, it's been a hell of a time. I, I, I feel like I haven't explained something this technical uh, in a long time. And I really didn't know who else could make a video like this because I, I'm sure I got some things wrong. But this was the, my best shot at explaining how ads actually work across these platforms. And uh, hopefully going forward, it uh, helps you out in your uh, digital media marketing journey. I've actually learned from the last video that I made, because I made an offhanded comment that like everybody that watches me is like content creators or people interested in content creation. There's a lot of people that just like marketing and watch this. That's cool. So props to you if you just watch marketing stuff and you just like this. That's awesome. Um, more of you are cool. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye. See you next time.